Hello and welcome back you guys. So obviously it's been a long time since I posted a video on this channel and it's just because I've been hard at work finally finishing this awesome robotic arm I've been designing. Uh, this is about version 6.4. Uh, if you want to check out my channel, I have videos of all the previous prototypes that I've built up until this point. But I just wanted to do a quick overview video before we get into the details of it. And uh, I have the arm hooked up to my tablet here with some software. Uh, the software is called uh, Arc by Synthium. And these guys are really cool. This is a really simple software for people that, you know, maybe just want to get into robotics or uh, have a project that they want to test. So uh, I just have it opened up in some software here and I have it programmed to sync with the um, keyboard controls on my uh, Microsoft Surface tablet. Um, so I can just control the fingers just with the press of the button. Make it this. Something really unique to this robotic arm as opposed to other 3D printable designs is that it has this uh, wrist tilt function along with the wrist rotate. So it gives you a lot more range of motion and freedom along with this tilt uh, thumb rotation. So you just have a lot more positions that you can move the hand to. So the hand really doesn't have many issues picking up and grabbing most objects. Um, it does tend to run into some issues with anything kind of spherical that can roll around in the palm. It can still pick them up just fine, but it tends to kind of like push them up on top of the hand. Um, and to solve this, I kind of started to experiment and play around with the parts in Fusion 360. And I came up with a secondary hand, which will be part two of these videos, which will be coming sometime next week or so. Um, so basically I'll have one hand that's uh, more meant for gestures, which is meant to mimic a human hand, and then another which is a little bit less human, which is more meant for gripping. Um, but they both use the same parts, and they really only need one printed adapter piece to um, put it all together, which is pretty cool. I do plan on releasing a tutorial and kit, along with a published book that's coming out with complete instructions on how to put one of these together. Um, so the idea here was to uh, make these two hands use as many of the same parts as possible. So they do use the same amount of servos, and uh, you will be able to build both hands using the same exact parts. Um, it's just you'll have to print an extra thumb along with a, and a single adapter piece to make the palm a little bit slimmer. So that being said, this hand features six servo motors in the hand, and eight total if you count the wrist tilt and rotation. Um, so, like I said, all these uh, parts were designed in Fusion 360 and manufactured here in-house. Um, it's a mix of resin 3D printed parts using a, like, impact resistant resin, along with a 3D printed on just a regular Ender 3 FDM 3D printer. Um, the rest of the parts were actually sent out uh, using a company called Send Cut Send. And uh, these guys are awesome, they just laser cut your parts and send them back to you. So, of course, I wouldn't be building robot hands without building an actual robot to put them on. So, uh, in the coming weeks, I'll also be making some videos on building the head and upper body for my humanoid robot project. So, as always, don't forget to subscribe, and keep checking back for lots of updates coming soon.